No, I just wanted to let everybody know to shout out Tim deserve so. Hey, look, I don't even know this guy, but he got great energy. That's right. So I fucks with him, you know what I mean? A lot of people ain't gonna get this. Hey, look, if you're getting this now, you are great. Don't get it later. Get it, get now. it now. What's the name of the The album, the EP that's coming out, yeah. Life After Life. I haven't dropped it yet, oh but Deserve is out on all media platforms. Digital, distribution, empire, 10. Just one rabbit, one rabbit. <laughs> Come on, rabbit. Thank you. Right here on Nick C. <laughs> Come on, rabbit. <laughs> I can't you get it. You're yeah. running. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do it right here. There we go. All right, Robert Thompson, right yes, on the Nick TV. Yes, sir.
horrible and it's a shame that you would use these poor people, these young children, to advance a political agenda. Is it unconstitutional to try what he's doing to go over the 14th Amendment? Yes, he's treating people differently. However, there are some issues here regarding uh, foreign citizens and uh, so I'm not sure. So uh, I'm not going to speculate that it's unconstitutional. So what's Judge Matthews ruling on this? If, if it comes to you, what are you ruling? Well, I have to have a little more information, certainly, but I would rule prematurely. I would, without seeing all the facts, I would rule in favor of the families. Yeah, it's just like, I just, how can you do this? I mean, do you expect that it's going to happen? You can't just check some balances and make sure this doesn't happen. Yeah, I don't think it will. I don't think it will, and I think the wiser heads uh, will prevail in this instance. And folks who are not as politically inclined to overlook and to punish children in effort to advance their political agenda. I mean, he is taking the most literal term, like saying, like, if you're not, you have to be born on U.S. soil. But I understand, as we see his side being like, if you're, if you're on the country legally, that it shouldn't be a legal baby. But and the other, and the other thing, I'm, I think that we need some controls around the border. I think, well, not necessarily around the border. I think that we need to address the caravan uh, immigration in a legal way and perhaps use our leverage with the countries that are, uh, are affected or who the countries of origination, uh, whether it's sanctions, whether it's uh, giving them some resources so that their folks won't want to leave and flee crime. If we give them money and funds to fight crime, which is what we're hearing in Guatemala is one of the primary reasons, then they won't have to flee. So I think we can find reasons to help those countries so that the folks won't have to flee. Well, don't worry, because those, those who are fleeing, Trump's going to be so nice to put a tent at the border. And, and it, he said, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put tents up. Inhumane. Inhumane, right? Yep. I, I, I have another question about that, too. Where did you learn to bang a gavel so well? Is there a school for judges? Is there like a gavel school? <laughs> no, I have flashbacks of my days on the street when I'm banging the gavel. When I get harder, I'm like, call me back, call me back, because I'm headed back to uh, 17, 18 years old. <laughs> Did you, ever, did you practice? Did you have to practice when we were like how my gavel no, is? Not at all. I'll tell you what happened. Depending on my mindset, I'm a nice judge, but when you disrespect me, I'm coming down hard. You better be glad it's just with the gavel. If you're gavel shopping, is there certain qualities you're looking in a gavel? Is there some type of wood that makes the best sound? Oak. Oak? Oak the best? <laughs> Absolutely. But I like to use I like to use cherry wood just for style. Okay. You know, I'm the judge from Detroit. I gotta be style. Hey, I hear Expand your horizons. Taste the universe. Infinite enjoyment awaits. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, I didn't catch the VMAs. I got here late last night. I came out here for the, for the, for the, for the Braxton family values. Got you. So let me ask you a quick question. What do you think is worse, for John Lennon to say that the Beatles were bigger than Jesus, or for Nicki Minaj to say she's like Harriet Tubman? I, I haven't heard none of it. You haven't I heard, heard none, none of it? it? I never heard none of it. So last night at the VMA, she, she basically like... I, and I didn't hear it, so I'm not going to speak on it. All right, Ben. It's okay, bro. It's yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I ain't going to speak on something I don't know. Did, did, you, see, did right. you see the Madonna uh, tribute to Aretha Franklin? I've seen it on the news. I've been watching the news. I've I seen J-Lo. She, she tore the spot up. I know that. Who do you like better? J -Lo, whose performance did you like better? J-Lo's or Travis Scott's? I, I didn't see Travis Scott's performance. Whoa. Yo, sure. I love Travis Scott. I'm a big fan of Travis Scott. You know what I'm saying? But J-Lo's performance, as I seen on the news, oh, she rocked. <laughs> yeah, she rocked. What is Flavor Flavor got coming up next? TV show. TV Vegas. show? Yeah, it's called any, Flavor any, Vegas, baby. Any cool guests you got coming up? A lot. You? A lot of a lot. your favorite guests. A lot of my favorite be, guests? Will be on my show. My, I'm a 90s baby. Yeah. Hey, hey, and guess who else I'm going to have on my show? Who? Your boss. Harvey, I'm bringing you on my show, Harvey. <laughs> yeah, G, I came on yours. Now you got to come on mine.